Okay, once again, good morning class. Um, today I'm going to give you a brief overview of your research report uh, for SPSS. Uh, basically, this is going to be the format you're going to use to um, explain the data analysis that you did with the variables that you selected. Now you must use this format, otherwise your paper will be wrong. It's not a lot to write, but you need to be able to be very clear and concise. So your first uh, section will be um, a hypothesis and doesn't have to be much more than two paragraphs. And you need to provide a clear statement of a bivariate relationship and identify your independent and dependent variables, which you should have done already. Describe those values of those variables. For example, if um, your variable was um, gender, obviously the values would be male and female. Um, you're going to next indicate your control variable and its values, which might be sex. Uh, once again, could be male and female. And then present a second hypothesis, which describes what you think will be the effect of the control variable on the original bivariate relationship described in your first hypothesis. For example, you could use values in your statements that is, instead of race has an impact on the death penalty, you could write a higher percentages of blacks will receive the death penalty than whites. Uh, you also want to include a rationale of about two paragraphs. In this section, you're going to, uh, in narrative form, in your own words, describe your thinking about the two hypotheses. In other words, explain why you think the independent variable will affect the dependent variable and why the control variable will influence that bivariate relationship and the results. Now this is important because you are going to have to have tables. Remember the APA style bivariate multivariate tables we did earlier? Okay, in this section you're going to present the results of your data analysis without commentary but just put it in the form, put your bivariate multivariate tables here. Um, Okay, for the next section of discussion, three paragraphs. Now, you ran the data, you created a bivariate uh, table, you created a multivariate table. Now, look at them, and I want you here to discuss inter and interpret, describe and interpret the results of your analysis, looking at your, your numbers, your numerical data. Um, you sh might find it necessary to refer to your hypothesis and rationale and be sure to include the explanation of the effects of your control variable. And remember your control variable for you guys might be simplest way to do it could be sex or race. Uh, very easy to look at uh, differences between men and women or between race, uh, the different races. And draw some conclusions uh, or make some recommendations. Remember, this part is in your own, all of this actually is in your own words. This is your own interpretation of the data. Now, in your appendix part of your paper, and you guys are going to use PDFs because I don't want any paper printouts. But you should print copies for yourself and have hard copies as well as electronic copies. Um, and keep in mind that the way your paper looks does also affect your grade. There's also a section in your handbook, in your workbook, on the research report grading sheet. So if you're wondering what, how or why did you get the grade that you got for your research report, this is going to tell you everything that I'm looking for. So if you fail to include even an APA style cover page or, you know, your lines are not double spaced or your section headings are not there, then you, you will lose points. Uh, mechanics your spitting structure and paragraphing. Sometimes some of you forget to read your paper before you turn it in. And your appendix. These are all the documents that I'm also going to be looking for in PDF form at the back of your paper. So there we have it in a nutshell. Easy peasy, your research report grading sheet. And I've gone through the outline for your research report. If you have any additional questions, feel free to email me or ask during class times. Uh, once again, thanks for joining.